And I'd like to have everyone close your eyes and we'll call in our spirit family. Blessed Mother, Divine Father, Holy Spirit, Padre Pio, Saint Therese, Saint Rita, Saint Bridget, the saints that walk with us, the saints that are our saints for this year, please join us. Our angels, our guardian angels, please come be with us. The, sa- the sages and wise masters that walk with us, please join us. Any relatives and ancestors who are with us, please, please be with us. We ask you to shower us with your graces and with your kindness and with your guidance. We ask that you circle our whole family, our CLM family, and the family from the spirits. Circle us and hold us in this context, in this crucible, while we share our inspired thoughts and wisdoms that comes from the hand of the divine. We thank you so much for being with us, protecting us, and loving us. Amen. This is Psalm 65 from the Stephen Mitchell adaptation. It is fitting to praise you, Lord, giver of all good things, to thank you for your boundless mercy, which renews us and makes us whole. Happy are those who find you and open themselves to your light. Every day you appear to us and reveal your grandeur on the earth. You create the hills and the mountains and set them immovably in place. You silence the roaring of the seas You calm the turmoil of the nations. People to the ends of the earth are overawed by your wonders. At the gates of morning and evening, they stand up and shout for joy. You care for the earth and nourish her, filling her rivers with your rain. You send down water to her furrows, making her ridges settle, softening her with showers and blessing her with new growth. You make her soil rich and fertile and bring and ready to bring forth fruit. You crown the year with abundance. The earth overflows with your goodness. The hills are covered with sheep. The valleys are clothed with grain. The pastures fill up with lushness and the meadows burst into bloom. They shout their exhilaration. They sing. They are wild with joy. This is from St. Augustine. You made me find you. Give me strength to seek you. My strength and my weakness are in your hands. Preserve my strength and help my weakness. For you have opened the door, let me enter in. Where it is shut, open to my knocking. Let me ever increase in remembering you, understanding you, loving you, until you restore me to your perfect pattern. Amen. The next prayer is from Jesus Calling. I am the truth, the one who came to set you free. As the Holy Spirit controls your mind and actions more fully, you become free in me. You are increasingly least to become the one I created you to be. This is a work that I do in you as you yield to my spirit. I can do my best handiwork when you sit in the stillness of my presence focusing your entire being on me. Let my thoughts burst freely upon your consciousness, stimulating the abundant life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
As you follow me, I lead you along paths of newness, ways you have never imagined. Don't worry about what is on the road ahead. I want you to find your security in knowing me, the one who died to set you free. Amen. This is For Suffering by John O'Donohue. May you be blessed in the holy names of those who without knowing it help to carry and lighten your pain. May you know serenity when you are called to enter the house of suffering. May a window of light always surprise you. May you be granted the wisdom to avoid false resistance. When suffering knocks on the door of your life, may you glimpse its eventual gift. May you be able to receive the fruits of suffering. May memory bless and protect you with the hard-earned light of past travail to remind you that you have survived before and though the darkness now is deep, you will soon see approaching light. May the grace of time heal your wounds. May you know that through that though the storm might rage, not a hair of your head will be harmed. Mm. Amen. This is from Love Poems from God from Daniel Ladinsky. And it's called, Dig Here, the angel said. She caught me off guard when my soul said to me, have we met? So surprised I was to hear her speak like that, I chuckled. She began to sing a tale. There was once a hardworking man who used to worry so much because he could not feed and clothe his children and wife the way he wanted. There was this beautiful little chapel in the village where the man lived, and one day, while he was praying, the angel appeared. The angel said, follow me, and he did, out into the ancient forest. Now dig here, the angel said, and the man felt strength in his limbs he had not known since his youth, and with just his bare hands, he dug deep and found a lost treasure, and his relationship with the world changed. Finding our soul's beauty does that, gives us tremendous freedom from worry. Dig here, the angel said, in your soul, in your soul. Amen. Mm -hmm. This prayer is a guidance prayer. Creator God, you made us and you love us. Our circumstances do not define us. Our identity is as your child. Your word says that. Although people plan their course in their hearts, it is you who establishes our steps. Whatever we do today, your loving eye is on us and you have promised to guide us. We can do nothing without you giving us the strength to do it. The desires of our hearts can only be satisfied in you. Guide our steps, Lord, to follow you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This is a prayer to the cosmic birther. O cosmic birther of all radiance and vibration, soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear the fruit of your mission. Let each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our desires. Endow us with the wisdom to produce and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the entanglement of past mistakes. Do not let us be seduced by that which would divert us from our purpose. Rather, 
illuminate the opportunities of the present moment. For you are the ground and the fruitful vision, the birth, power, and fulfillment as all is gathered and made whole once again. Amen. Mm-hmm.